morning. It is filled to the brim and it is Tuesday, June 9th. And the Lord woke me up and he wanted to tell us all that he is in it. He is in it. Now, this is the thing. A lot of times we see God in the good things, the times of favor, the times of blessing, the times of answered prayer that we see come to fruition. But what about the unexpected battle? What about the pain? What about the times when we're waiting and the no answer has come? We don't know how things are going to turn out. What about those types of things? God, are you in those things? And the Lord is saying, guess what? Yes, I am in it. The Lord says he is in it because the Lord is so great, so good, so loving, so magnificent, so far above the enemy and anything that the enemy in his ways of trying to create brokenness and fear and disruption in our lives. The Lord is so far above him that he is already there, Jehovah Shammah, and his presence is already there before we arrive to that unexpected thing that may happen in our lives that sideswipes us. He is already there to give us his goodness, to be there with his presence. I am in it. He is in it. His presence is there. Scripture tells us in Romans 8:28 that the Lord works all things together for his good. And we know with great confidence that God who is deeply concerned about us causes all things to work together as a plan for good for those who love God, to those who are called according to his plan and purpose. Now this is the thing about that scripture. The all things working together for our good is contingent on our love for God and our agreement with allowing him to work all those things according to his will and his purpose. Not our will, not our purpose, his will, his purpose. That's the contingency, but his promise is there. His ability is there. His presence is there to work all things, all things for our good for our good and so therefore we have to remain in agreement with him you know more than once in a week i have to say to the lord not my will but your will be done in other words lord bring me back into agreement with you regarding the situation whatever i am going through and when we go through times of pain or when we go through a side swipe of a battle that rages and we didn't expect it, there is an important thing that we need to do. Lord, get me in agreement with you. The storm is raging. May I be in agreement with you because the enemy desires to bring you into his deception about your storm. He wants you he wants to deceive you to agree with him about your storm. See, that's really what the enemy is trying to do is get your agreement because victory comes to you when you're in agreement with the Lord and the enemy wants his way in your life. So he wants to pull you and usually he does this through deception, trying to make you bitter, trying to make you fearful, trying to make you blame God, whatever he can do to get you in to agreement with him because when he does that then you start to lose the victory because that's how the enemy gains it see he cannot have victory in your life unless you give it to him unless you have agreement with him and that's why it's very important for us to have our praise on because the response to our t attack is key to the victory. It is key to what Romans just said, that we need to be called according to his purposes. See, he works all things for our good because we're called according to his purposes. And therefore we will not step in to compromise. We will not step in to despair. We will not step in to doubt about God's goodness and love towards us. And how do we do that? How do we not step into that pull that our flesh does or the enemy wants us to do when these 
these bad things happen to us. We do it through praise. We do it through the dis discipline of praise. We will praise and worship because as we praise, we declare the goodness, we declare the truth, and the truth causes our minds, our thoughts to get in agreement with Him. There are a lot of scriptures about the power of praise and worship. We know that battles for the believer are won through praise and worship. Let us remember the man Caleb. Caleb and Joshua were the ones that were, believed God to go into the promised land, but it didn't happen because the other 10 spies didn't believe. So later, 40 years later, when they are going into the promised land, Caleb is one that is highlighted in the story. Caleb is from the tribe of Judah, the tribe of praise. And Judah always went forth at, at the first tribe to go forth into battle when the when the cloud moved it was Judah that always went forth because when we go forth we always go forth in praise no matter where we're going it's not just into the the good things and the blessing that we praise but whatever we're going forth in our in our journey of life let us go forth in praise and Caleb as he enters into the promised land, he tells Joshua, you know what, Joshua, give me the hard land. I can believe God for the hard land. Give me the mountain. And Joshua does that. In Joshua 14, 11 and 12, this is what Caleb says to him. I am still as strong as I was the day Moses sent me. As my strength was then, so is my strength now for war and for going in and out. So give me this mountain. So give me this mountain. Do not be afraid to say to God, give me this mountain. Give me this victory. You are with me, Lord. I have strength because I'm a person of the tribe of Judah. Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah. And I'm going to go forth in praise. I will declare nothing according to Romans 8. As the scripture goes forth, after he, it says that all things work together for our good, as the scripture goes forth, it says, yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors and gain overwhelming victory through him who loved us so much that he died for us. You have victory in this battle because God is good and he works all things together for your good. Do not fear. Do not be in agreement with the enemy. Put your praise on. Put your worship on. You are like Caleb. Your strength is there. You will have victory. You will take this mountain. You will defeat the giants. In Jesus' name, the Lord is good. He is with you. Receive this word today. He loves you.